Cendrillon, French for Cinderella. The lyric opera's holiday treat. Don't expect this to be a serious retelling of the familiar fairy tale. And making her lyric debut, Australian soprano Siobhan Stagg. I've not played Cinderella in this opera before, but I guess it is the childhood dream of many people. <laughs> I did grow up wanting to be a uh, voiceover artist for Disney movies and things, so yeah, it's really a wonderful role to play. There's gender bending in this French opera. Since its 1810 Paris debut, the part of the prince is played by a woman. It's also written, I think, for specifically in this opera because it's a soprano voice and a mezzo voice, which is just the slightly lower and the slightly higher voice. We sing together and we sing our big high climaxes together and we meld in these amazing duets. I think that's why it's written like this. Visually, this production has eye-popping sets, 120 wigs, and these costumes were inspired by Paris Fashion Week with a crazy twist. If you've never been to the opera before, this is the one to come to. Because, I mean, is this the best story or not? Is this Cinderella? Do we not have the best costumes and the best set and lighting effects I'm not even going to tell you about, but the best music, the best romantic duets, the best everything. Cendrillon is at the Lyric through January 20th. And since it hasn't been seen in Chicago since 1911, you better hurry up and get a ticket because you don't want to wait another 107 years to see it. Janet Davies, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.